Hello and welcome. This short video will show you how to access the digital citizenship lessons within the Keyboarding Without Tears program. First, log into plusliveinsights.com. Then, make sure that you are in the Keyboarding Without Tears program. I'm going to go ahead and select the Educator Resources tab. And I'm going to navigate to the Lesson Preview. On the left-hand side of the lesson preview, you will find the digital citizenship and teacher-led lessons. The digital citizenship lessons are marked with one of four icons, either digital consideration, digital protection, digital information, or digital communication. So let's take a look at week seven. You can see we have a digital citizenship lesson called Stop the Strange. It includes digital consideration, as well as digital protection. I'm going to go ahead and click into this week. Once you do, you will find your digital citizenship lessons and teacher-led lessons at the top of the page. Now notice with Stop the Strange, this is a digital citizenship lesson, and as I hover over the icons, I can see which areas this covers. So I'm going to click into Stop the Strange lesson. This will take me directly to that lesson in the online teacher's guide. All of the lessons are organized in the same way. We have on our left hand side the materials, which are hyperlinked. So there's Stop the Strange Scenarios. I can click right on this hyperlink and it'll take me to the Stop the Strange Scenarios. Then I just click back to get back into the lesson. There's also a stop poster that gives me the illustration of the two students with their hand held up. When I go back into the lesson, you'll be able to see we have our grouping, the support or ELL for our English language learners giving us a suggestion for those students who may be struggling with the lesson. In the highlighted box, you will find the step-by-step -step directions for the activity. Underneath those step-by-step -step directions is a um, check for understanding to make sure the individuals understood the activity. Then we have the more to learn section, which will give suggestions to extend the activity. And at the bottom, you will always find the tech talk or the vocabulary that children are learning within that lesson. Once you've completed all of the digital citizenship lessons for a grade level, you're ready for the assessment. And the assessment can be found under the Educator Resources tab right over here. You'll find that each grade level has a digital citizenship assessment. Thank you for listening today.